Puffy, he told Jay-Z on Biggie's birthday that he felt like he filled Tupac and Biggie's shoes after they passed away. What you think about that? I mean, you know, process of elimination. I mean, if, if, if Big and Pac ain't here, then yeah, whoever, somebody, listen, I, Jay-Z's his own lane. And I think even if Biggie and Pac were here, Jay-Z would still be Jay-Z. Um, because he's a, he's got a strong business savvy and he's an incredible uh, rapper. Um, so I don't know about filling anybody's shoes, but obviously if there's a vacated spot or spots because somebody's not around, then yeah, you can grab more of the attention. I hear you, man, but a lot of people have been saying that for years now, man. I've been hearing that narrative being pushed for a while now, man, that Jay-Z, he wouldn't be where he at right now if Tupac and Biggie were still alive. No, nah, I think that's ridiculous. No, nah, that's ridiculous. To say he wouldn't be where he's at, he would be just exactly where he's supposed to be. But it would be interesting because, you know, we never saw Biggie's best because, you know, he only had two albums. But still, they were a hell of a two albums. Um, and Pac was Pac. So it would have been great to see that energy all together at the same time right now. So you think Jay-Z here had the same career he had right now if they was alive? The yes. same amount of hits, the same amount of records yes. sold and everything. Yes, 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 yes. What would they have prevented and why? I mean, at that time, Biggie, he was the face of Brooklyn and New York at that time. You know, he was the head hunt show. Yeah, you but we, he was the again, you, we, we're talking about globally. What, who cares about, yeah, if you want to be one of them niggas, my city, my block. But that's not how you win. Globally. Bigger. Let's aim for bigger. I love it when niggas do that, yo. You know, my, I'm the, like, this is my city. They rep their city like, yo, it's my city. Nigga, if it's your city, open up a bank. Open up the bank at four in the morning. Let's go get some money. Open up a mall. Let's go get some Jordans at 3 a.m. It's not your city, nigga. It's your street where you live. It ain't your city. It belongs to the white man. Whoever the mayor and the governor is, that's whose city it is. Jay-Z or Biggie? Hove. Listen, my Mount Rushmore... Jay-Z, Nas, Biggie, Jadakiss. Any one of them. Toss up. Any one of them. So how do you feel about people that say Biggie, he not a top five rapper of all time because he only had two albums? How do you feel about people that say that? I mean, well, damn, you know, uh, how much more proof do you need before it's solidified? You know what I mean? If, if motherfuckers incredible, Look, Grant Hill because of injury, never got to really be Grand Hill. Petty Hardaway, because of injury, never really got to be Petty Hardaway. But based on what we saw, it would have been a problem. That's why I go back to, like with the Tyson argument, from what you saw, use your gut, use your eyes, use your intellect. From what you saw, do you really need to see it all when, when you saw it right then? So how you feel about the people that say it's not right to have Biggie in your top five rappers of all time because he only got two classic albums and there's other rappers with more than two classic albums? I can stop you right there. I can stop you me. right there. I say go listen to Niggas Bleed by Biggie on the Life After Death album. Listen to the song Niggas Bleed. This man tells an entire story on some Martin Scorsese shit vividly. With, he's painting a picture with words, the melody, the song, the story. You can visually see it. Again, how many dudes can do that? How many dudes can paint a picture so vividly with words that you see it like a movie? A scene in a movie. Yeah, you're right, man. There's not many rappers that can do that, if any. But I mean, like I said, man, like you got somebody like a Jay-Z, right? Reasonable Doubt, classic album. Um, Blueprint, classic album. Black album, classic album. So we had three. Um, you got some people that say American Gangster was a uh, classic album. We had four now. You got some people that say 444 was a classic album. Now, you, you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just named how many classics, right? Right, and then you pe people ask, would he still have done what he did if Big and Pac were around? You just answered the question. You reeled off... A bunch of classics. What that was going to stop? Because Biggie and Pac is here? The results ain't going to be what they supposed to be? Because Biggie and Pac is here? 
Make that make sense. 